Hello everyone, we've got another great Native American weapon to look at here, weapon and piece of art, as you can see. This is by the Lakota, sometimes still called the Sioux. And the sheath obviously features just that awesome, exquisite beadwork that I've shown before. Here's uh, some vintage images of Lakota warriors, by the way. This picture would have been from roughly the same era as that in which the knife was made and carried, uh, you know, mid to late 19th century. And the last hurrah for the frontier era. Uh, speaking of the Lakota, the most famous uh, representative would be Crazy Horse. So here's a picture of his monument in the famed Black Hills of South Dakota. And oh, I love these old pictures, so here's a family of uh, Lakota or Sioux, and you can see how important decoration was. It's no surprise then that that extended to their weapons and tools. The blade, of course, itself is pretty straightforward, just real workmanlike. I like the handle, it's got nice polish to it. Its curvature is probably, I would think, just more an accident of, you know, the shape of the piece that was used as opposed to anything necessarily intended. But still, actually gives it a cool little flourish to the outline. Here's a real up-close shot, and we'll back away. You can see the construction details. Nothing fancy, but then obviously the, the sheath is quite fancy, so something like this would be traded for. And then obviously someone went to a lot of trouble. In making the sheath, using that beadwork, bright colors, which we're about to see, uh, so that you turn this thing here into a showpiece. And that goes back to how important decoration was. I mean, look at this work here, right? Just for, you know, a simple utilitarian knife that you'd keep at your side and use for all the things that you use a knife for. These are glass beads that also would have had to been traded for. Kind of a highly prized commodity with Native Americans. Those metal tassels at the end are something that you've seen on other pieces I've shown before. That was definitely a favorite technique. And as you can see, even the backside gets some attention to detail, including some more of those. Those don't always manage to hang on very well as the years go by, so this one's in pretty good shape overall, if not very good shape. I did a little online searching, and real quick I'll show you a couple of examples of items that use very similar motifs. So... Here's another knife sheath that's obviously very similar to this one. If I had to choose, uh, I prefer the one that we're focusing on today. Its color palette is more, you know, specifically red and blue with some other accents. Uh, this one here uses green a lot more. Anyway, here's a rifle case, also from the Lakota, as was the last example, uh, and both featuring the beadwork and the same predominant color, so that was definitely a thing. Well, here it is in hand. I don't have a measurement, but you'll see that the blade is not on the small side. It's a long butcher-style blade, and uh, would be a fearsome weapon if used for defense. And there it is, a piece of authentic Wild West history. Notable for the fantastic beadwork on the sheath, part of a proud tradition. Thanks.